In this world, is the destiny of mankind controlled by some transcendental entity or law? Is it like the hand of God hovering above? At least it is true that man has no control, even over his own will. <laughs> I'd give anything to the man who could stop the eternal march of Tudor's black devils. Charge! Charge! He's only one soldier! Surround him! The band of the Hawk! It's the death of the battlefield led by the White Hawk Brothers! Captain Guts, welcome back! It was amazing, Captain! You took them in one charge! The whole army was afraid of you! Nothing less from the commander of the Hawks Raiders! Let's hear it for our Captain! Yeah! You did a good job. If I got a little carried away out there, I apologize. Apologize? What are you saying? Now we get to brag about you to everyone else! Yeah, that's right! Now, let's celebrate! Come on, first round's on me! Congratulations! Uh, Koska! Commander Koska! We need to talk. May I have you alone for a moment, Sir Captain Guts? Why don't you guys go ahead and start without me? I'll catch up later. There they go. Are they gonna go fight again? It's probably because the captain acted alone out there. What did you think you were doing? What do you mean? Don't give me that. Our plan for the last battle was to act as support for the main force's charge. Our companies each take a flank to contain the enemy attack. Despite your success, you ruined our battle plan, charging like that into the center of the enemy. What do you think you are, alone out there like some kind of hero? 
Your self-centered actions could put all the Hawks in serious danger. Would you try to keep your position in mind somewhat? You're gonna get someone killed, you ape! I apologize. It won't happen again. You always say that. You're always insincere. You just repeat the same thing. You haven't changed at all. Not since the day you jumped on Griffith three years ago. All you care about is swinging your sword against others. You don't care at all about the lives of the men you lead. You're just a mad dog! <laughs> Say it again! Say it again if you dare! Why don't you two calm down? <laughs> Griffith! Casca, may I speak to Guts alone for a moment? <sighs> Griffith, you're way too soft on him. <laughs> Save yourself the bother. He's Griffith's favorite pet. You realize you can't win. You might as well just get used to it. Of course, I am always here for you, should you ever decide to get rid of him. Casca, you and I could take care of this, and no one else ever has to know. Uh, 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 Sorry. You two fight like a cat and dog. Three years battling side by side has changed nothing. I do care about them. In my own way, I do care about my men. I'm not like that kid I used to be. It takes me back to when we met. You wandered from battlefield to battlefield. And we fought a duel for your freedom. What a duel we had that day. The singularly most memorable of my life. Come on then, you will be the toast of tonight's drinking. Griffith. I'm sorry. About today's battle. I drew up those plans with your propensities in mind. Upon this day before God, may all bear witness and pay respect to the distinguished service This is absolutely of absurd. The rogue mercenary being knighted. What on earth has become of our great king? The Hawks were, however, a great help on the battlefield. Nonsense! What sort of men would be with more than things outside the war? Nevertheless, their services in battle are still necessary. If we are negligent now, we run the risk of making ourselves obsolete. Giving self and soul with no other ruler or land. You see that? They have no choice but to honor us for distinguishing ourselves in battle. Is that right, Rickett? At last, it's farewell to the humble mercenary life. We've been formally admitted into the King's army. We're in the middle of a ceremony, Gorkus. Would you please try to exercise a little decorum? From now on, Place, everything we do will reflect on Griffith, and people will be watching us. There is no longer any falsely. excuse to act like boorish mercenaries. We've come too far. Okay, okay, I understand, Commander Casca, ma'am. Uh, she's tougher than my mother. What was that? Uh, we're at a ceremony. Those commoners. Uh, he's disappeared again. Where is he? One hundred ninety-eight! One hundred ninety-nine! Two hundred!
Thanks for scouting the enemy camp, Judo. Yeah, good work. So, what's happening at the supply base? Their defense focuses on this side, so our information was correct. It's not much of a force, though. All right, then. So we should try to outflank them or something? No. We attack them from the front. Huh? huh? But that's dangerous! Our objective is to capture the enemy supply base as soon and as swiftly as possible. Chances are we could reach the armory by attacking from behind. However, we run the risk of drawing the garrison to the armory as well. In that case, occupying the fort would become increasingly difficult. I see. So for us to thin the armory's guard, you're suggesting that we should focus our attack on the front of the fort. That's right. Remember, the armory is our objective. And watch yourselves breaking through the middle gate. Then, what's our formation? First, Guts and Koska's companies will attract the garrison's attention. Soon after, the main company will break through the front gate. We can handle it. We'll begin the siege as soon as preparations are complete. Oh boy. Well, it looks like Guts is gonna get all the credit again. That's right. You wanna step outside? <laughs> Casca! Griffith gave those orders. <laughs> we can't afford to squabble amongst ourselves anymore. Things have to change. Now look, you've been given specific orders to follow. Don't run off. Guts, wait! Uh. I'm counting on you, Koska. Why should I, I, the leader of the Blue Whale Heavy Assault Knights, Sir Adon, why do I have to patrol this miserable supply base and its armory? Sir, we were stationed here because the Black Ram Heavy Cavalry were crippled in their last offensive against Midland, sir! Shut up, you cretin! <laughs> this is hardly a position befitting a descendant of the Korbowitz family. Damn it. Huh? What is it? There. You see that? Hey! What the? Commander of Dawn! Enemy raid! We're under attack! You spineless toad! Who would bother to attack such a remote supply base? What the hell? It's 
a truck! Get out of here now! What? Retreat! Ah! Retreat! That can't be! Corgus, let's go! Huh? What the hell? Family fleeing technique. Bakuretsu Funsai. But, Sir Aton, we lost the fort and all our supplies were destroyed. Silence! Stop prattling, you beetle! Now, withdraw the troop! Yeah! yeah, 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 yeah. Listen, is everyone all right? Uh, Sir, yes. everybody else? My, my company is accountable. I'm okay. It's lucky we didn't lose anyone. All thanks to Guts, he saved us. Wow, that explosion was something else. Ah, uh, all the spoils were destroyed. It doesn't matter. We were able to achieve our objective and destroy the enemy supply base. What are you talking about? Ah, you're too young. You just don't get it. I know I'm a kid, but you're greedy. What's bothering you? If you have something to say, then say it. You never had a problem reprimanding me before. Shut up! I just... It's just that your actions today on the battlefield were right. I was just disobeying orders, like I always do. It's different. You were just desperately trying to protect Griffith. But I didn't understand that. I mean, thanks. I was wrong. Midland's troops were no match for me. Schoolgirls could have staged a better assault. I completely annihilated them. So, did you confirm that they were totally destroyed? Of course I did, my dear General Boscon. <laughs> you buffoon! I... They are alive, and they occupy the supply base. That can't be! Enough! Waste no time in undoing this disgrace to the Empire. Yes, sir! Calm down. Governor Genin. The loss of a supply base changes nothing in the overall war. We must, however, inflict a crushing defeat on these insects. Especially this rogue Band of the Hawk. Band of the Hawk? What is it, Governor? Never you mind. Leave it to the Hawks? Yes. I will trust them with our next castle siege. Not to contradict you. But shall we charge boorish mercenaries with such an important mission? I agree with him. My army should be the one to lead the offensive. And will you win? Will you swear before me that your men will be victorious? <clears throat> then my choice shall stand. Go send word to Griffith. 
When the preparations are complete, they will take the field. Sire. In this world, there are certain things that exist beyond human knowledge. Humans worship such things as gods, or fear them as devils. Distress, fear, blood, and screams. Perhaps it is fate that leads one to such things. 